lamb, the blood of the lamb that the cup symbolizes is salvation. The body of the lamb is our sustenance. The wool of the lamb is our clothing and covering. But the lamb isn't just for Sunday or for our high holy days, if you will. That lamb is a part of everyday life for all of us. He befriends every one of us, every one of us, in all of life. When I was growing up, oh my, did we have pets. And those of you that remember Rose and my mother know that they were freaks when it came to animals. Therefore, I have always been an animal freak, but Minnie and Chippo were just wonderful cats, and I loved those cats as a child. We had a stupid parakeet named Bill, and for those of you who knew Rose and Mother, you'll understand this. My mother taught Bill to say, and this goes back and tells you when and how old I was, I like Ike! Mm -hmm. I like Ike! And she was a raging Republican, and it infuriated my grandfather, who was a very dogmatic Democrat, and Belle would be in her cage. I like I, I like I. And I won't tell you how strongly my, my grandfather would say, would you shut that bird up? Anyway, it, it, it was funny. But then we owned Afghan hounds for a while. And one of them's name was Pearl, and one of them's name was Alfie. And I loved those Afghan hounds. Then I got a raccoon. And the raccoon's name was Saul, and it lived with us for seven years and was the most housebroken pet that ever was. Slept with me, I got married, Peter got the raccoon, and it slept with Peter for about two years. Saul was wonderful. We can all tell stories about our pet. But when it comes down to the end and importance, I really think if we think about it, the lamb, the lamb gets our final vote because the lamb is our friend. He's always there. Our lives will never be the same again, friends, because of God's lamb. Because Jesus came into our life and Jesus gave us safety. He gave us forgiveness. He gave us sustenance, and He gives us everything because He is all-sufficient. And that's really all that I need to say. And I'm just about through. There is no doubt about it. The Lamb of God, the one who we celebrate every Sunday morning, the Lamb of God who shed His blood and gave his body for us. That's man's best friend. I know, and I suspect you know, that he is your best friend. Thanks be to God for the Lamb of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.